Hey everybody, Rob Ferretti here from Santa Cruz, California, which is just north of Monterey, uh, north an hour. Uh, I'm staying here because it's much cheaper than staying down at Monterey. My goal is to go to Pebble Beach Car Weekend and spend less than $1,000 to look at cars. Is it possible? We're about to find out. What's in the parking lot of the Holiday Inn Express? <laughs> 458 Spiders, McLarens, Mustang. This is just in the top of the parking lot. I guarantee the bottom is filled with a bunch more. But this, we'll, we'll just say two-star hotel. We'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Two-star hotel is is probably 450 to $500 a night. To reinforce, you have the Otter Inn, and Otter things have happened. Then a Ford GT, and a GT3, and God knows what else is back there on Car Week. All right guys, so we're on our way to Pebble Beach. We just looked up the different events that are going on this weekend. Uh, and they're all expensive, which is ridiculous. Uh, they're car shows, so you go look at car shows. So, Ferrari is doing something at the concourse on Sunday, $600 a person, it's a lot of money. The concourse itself is almost $400 a person, just to walk around Pebble Beach and look at cars. That's a lot of money. The Quail, which is taking place today, is a couple hundred dollars a person, also a lot of money. I've sort of found my way through and I'm going to navigate the free stuff. So as a Ferrari owner, I was invited to, or I'm, I'm eligible to go to Casa Ferrari, which is where we're going to go first. Casa Ferrari is marketed as a pit stop for Ferrari owners. So if I had a Ferrari there, I can go fill it up uh, free gas, free car wash, free food, and probably free alcohol. Let's go check out that one first and we'll see where we go from there. Bacon up the juice, though. I'm just trying to fit in with everybody else. How much are they? Uh, it comes with the case, so it's 1965 Now I think I can work. Ferrari event, even the spiders are white. Yeah, you wait with your P1. <laughs> this is just normal. Oh, I'm gonna run over the cone. Oh, we already ran over a cone. The, uh, the blue Lambo. Cop is fishing him out from under his bumper. Yep, try it again without eating cones. Huracan sounds good. Everything that happened right there is normal at Pebble. All right, that was pretty cool. Uh, the Ferrari Casa was uh, not bad for free. I like it. They were doing test drives in the California T. I've already driven it, so I passed. However, now we're heading over to Canary Row. We're gonna check or Canary Row, as some people like to pronounce it. We're gonna check out a free car show, which is where all the cars from all the paid shows go to show off for free to everybody else. So that's up my alley. All right, so since the weekend is comprised of car shows, I don't want to spend the $600 to go look at cars parked on the lawn. I come here to Exotics on Cannery Row, free car show. Let's go check them out. So 
yesterday we actually made it through the entire day without spending any money on actual car events. Uh, we saw a bunch of cool cars at Cannery Row. Now we're doing our first paid event. Uh, we're going to the Concorso Italiano, which is we're sitting in traffic right now to park in the lot. And that is $170 when we looked it up yesterday. We figured we'd buy tickets at the gate. We show up at the gate and the price went up 30 bucks. We're now at $200 ahead to go look at cars parked on the grass. Well, let's see if it's worth it. Probably not. Clearly, me with my Dodge Journey is going to be parking in general parking with these McLarens and Lamborghinis. <laughs> parking on the driving range. There's that, what the parking lot looks like at an Italian concourse event. Don't park on the green. I guess it's the driving range, but don't ruin the golf course. Oh, I'm sort of excited. If they don't let the 308s into the Italian concourse, that probably means the cars inside are pretty cool. Probably the guy can afford to uh, yeah, register. Couldn't, couldn't be. <laughs> so, was the Concorso worth $200? Not really. It's the same cars that go from venue to venue. Didn't really impress me too much. But at the end of the day, if you look at the crowd around, most of these people enjoy sitting behind their car, talking about the car, getting their car judged, and that's really what they're paying for. To me, I don't know. I'd rather go to Exotics on Cannery Row, the highlight of the weekend. Uh, all I know is this is the only ticket I got, but me and my five friends spent $1,200 to come look at a car show. Now we're gonna go to Napa Valley, uh, or spend the rest of the weekend up there, drink some wine, get our money's worth, because with wine, you know you're always getting your values worth. Not really, but what the hell. Napa is pretty good about having like cool scenic restaurants. All right, everybody, Rob Ferretti here in Napa Valley, California. Uh, I bounced out of Pebble uh, a day early, uh, not because I didn't want to go to the concourse, but because I've seen enough parked cars. Uh, I know if, if I were to do Pebble Beach again, I would pro or do Monterey Car Week again, I would probably only go to the uh, Concorso at Pebble Beach on Sunday. And that's like $325 or $350 a person. But that would be, if you're spending the money, the only event I think that would be worth it because Pebble Beach is a world-class venue. If you're not familiar with golf, it's a very famous golf course. People play six hour rounds there, unfortunately, which is 50% longer than golf should take. And everyone that goes out there spends $500. It really is like a bucket list golfing destination. So to be on that venue, if you're gonna see cars parked, you might as well be there. Uh, Quail, uh, the auctions, um, Italian Concorso, those ones, I mean, if you're buying cars, great. Otherwise, it's not really for me. I don't think it's really worth spending the money. Most of the cars that you could see that would impress you there would be at the Italian Concorso. If you're not really a, like a, a very, very wealthy car collector, most of the cars are gonna be who gives a damn. I mean, not that they're not cool, but the real car, the stars of Pebble are the 40, $50 million cars, the 10 plus million dollar cars that you wouldn't even know if you looked at them. You'd go and be like, wow, that Enzo is so much cooler than that one. But the Enzo's $2 million and the other car could be 50 million, 100 million, who knows what it is. Uh, I didn't see any McLaren F1s. I wasn't really looking. Bunch of P1s. Bunch of Koenig Segs, bunch of Paganis, a uh, bunch of La Ferrari. So there was a bunch of cool cars on the peninsula for for a modern car guy. The classic car guys are really what drive this weekend. That's what brings in all the money. Uh, those are the guys spending the big money, which is why the auctions take place. Uh, the the spectacle of this weekend is very simply that. All of these car guys with these fancy cars converge on this peninsula. Now, it's expensive to get onto the peninsula to stay, to get a hotel, it takes, you should do it far in advance to try to increase your chances of getting a reasonably priced room. But once you're there, it's not really as gouging as I thought it was gonna be. It's not like they charge $23 for a hot dog, which is sort of what I was expecting. The events, if you wanted to go into the private events, 
there's enough rich people there, they charge, they raise the rates, it makes it a little bit more exclusive, but you don't have to go to those. So if I was gonna do Car Week as a, just a car fanatic, I would go out, I would go just sit on the street. If you're in Carmel, Monterey, anywhere you go, plenty of cars to see. There's the, the density of cars on that peninsula for the weekend is what the real spectacle is. If you're an owner, make sure you reach out to the manufacturers. That's the fun stuff. You're mingling with other guys with the same passion. They like to throw free food, free booze, nice venues at you. And you go to one car show. That's Pebble Beach Concourse Week, uh, Monterey Car Week, whatever you want to call it in a nutshell. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. I will catch you next time.